Hi, my name is Tom. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a look at an Oris release that might have gone unnoticed for you. Today we're gonna have a look at the full new Oris Rectangular Collection. Last year the Cartier tank gained a lot of popularity again amongst watched enthusiasts. But if you are like me on the fence about a Cartier large, maybe because it looks too small on your wrist, then these Oris models are a pretty solid alternative. In the world of rectangular dress watches the Cartier tank and the GLC Reverso obviously come to mind. So me and my wallet are actually very happy to see another option hit the market. These rectangular watches were announced in November last year around the same time that they released the big round pointer date caliber 403. Yet, it took until January before Oris even announced these on their Instagram. I really wonder why that is. Being in the market for a Cartier tank myself, I got really curious about these models. And with content missing from YouTube, I'm really happy to be able to show you some live video and images from all four models. Let's jump in with some specs first. The case dimensions are 25 by 38 millimeters. That's slightly larger than a Cartier tank. The watch has a thickness of 10.2 millimeters. The lug width is 19 millimeters. Inside the watch we find an ETA automatic movement. Yep, you heard right, no quartz. And we can actually see the movement via the mineral glass case back. The rectangular model comes in four color variations. We have the blue dial with the blue leather strap. We have a red dial with a red strap that actually looks a bit like their cherry red. The third model is the anthracite grey dial and strap combination that actually has a bit of brown tints in it. And the last one is actually my favorite, the white dial, but they paired it with a yellow strap. Yet if you look beyond that, you will see that this is the most versatile one in the collection. I'm a bit surprised there wasn't a green dial version in there because that was the hype color of 2021. I'd love to see one because Oris makes amazing green dials. The case is highly polished and has this Art Deco feeling due to the stepped case flanks and the gentle curve on both the case and the glass. That Art Deco retro vibe is further enhanced via the two railroad tracks inside the dial. Between the two railroad tracks we find the big 12, 3 and 9 Arabic numerals. At the 6 o'clock we find a tiny date window and especially on the wide version it blends right in. We find the Oris logo at 12, the word Swiss made at the bottom and the rest of the dial is clapped clean and open. The hour plots on the inner railroad track and the sword style hands both have Super Luminova applied. What are my thoughts? Well, I'm a big fan of the design when you look past the OEM straps. Luckily the straps have a quick release system, meaning swapping them out is a breeze. This totally transforms the watches. My favorite has to be the white dial. I wish I could rock the blue dial, but it still feels a bit too feminine for me. It did look rather wonderful on my wife or wrist. Again, if you are in the market for a rectangular dress watch and you want to give the Oris an honest chance, just look past the strap and think aftermarket. Personally, I would prefer an even more masculine look, maybe even with brushed case flanks. The camber on the watch already helps raising the watch a bit off the wrist, so it doesn't feel as flat and thin as the Cartier tank. But everything together, I really fell for that white version and I'm really thinking of adding this one to the collection. The price proposition is really good on this watch. You get a watch with an automatic movement from a respected independent brand. The quality and finish is on par with the other watches in their catalog. Whether you prefer to spend it on a rectangular, a big crown or a diver 65 is up to you. I hope you found this video interesting and hopefully I could satisfy some of you that were looking for some extra footage on these pretty watches. I'm really curious to hear your opinion about this watch. Did Oris produce a sleeper hit or did they hide this one too far down the catalog? Let me know in the comments or come find me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.